if you are running an online store there will come a time when you want to send email notifications to your customers or users instances where you may want your customers to receive email notification from you is when they register on your website and a verification is required during password reset or even if you want to send product alerts or product order messages now if you want to send out all these messages your users may see that the message is being delivered by wordpress and if they open it up they will also see that the email is coming from wordpress at your domain name.com and we don't want this so in this video i'm going to show you how to change default wordpress sender name and email address coming up hello guys this is Swadik here at Digo pages web where i do web tutorials just like this one so if you are new here consider subscribing that said let's jump into the video so this is the website i want to change the default wordpress name and email address to achieve this i'll go to the back end of my website then i go over to appearance then click on team file editor from here you may see an alert asking you to confirm if you really want to edit the team so all what you need to do is go ahead and click on i understand and it will bring you to this very interface next I click on functions.php this is the code we are going to enter in here I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can download this file so I'll just select or copy it come in here click at the end of the existing code and make sure you hit enter twice take note how much of code you see in here will depend upon the team you are using I'm using the Bloxy child team. So from here, I go ahead and paste in the code. So the line on top here is just a comment that indicates that this particular code will enable you to change the email address that your users will be seeing. And this one is also a comment that indicates that this particular code will enable your users to see the name you'll be specifying right here. So first of all, all what you need to do is make sure you highlight the existing email right here which is a sample email, then take it off. And you see that my insertion point is inside the inverted commas. So in here, I go ahead and enter the email I want my users to see when they receive a message from my website. Info at decoupagesweb.com. Take note, the email doesn't necessarily have to be an email from your domain name. You can also go ahead and use any kind of email like gmail next i come in here that is the code to change the name of my website and i go ahead and highlight it take it off then i enter the name i want my users to see deco pages web then i go ahead and update the file The file is successfully edited. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. All right, let's continue. Now I've opened my website in a new private window. So I'll just go ahead and go to the login page of my WordPress website by adding wp-admin hit enter. So from here, you see that users of my website will not be able to register. So I need to give them the permission to be able to register on my website. So what I do is go back to the back end of my website. Then I go over to settings, click on general. Under membership, I select the checkbox that is anyone can register. Then I go ahead and save the changes. Now, if I go back to a new private window and refresh it, you see that user will now be able to register. So I'll go ahead and do the registration by clicking on register. I'll enter in my username. And I'll go ahead and enter my email address. And I click on register. registration complete please check your email in here you see that i have a new message coming from Diku pages web so if i go ahead and click on it you see that the name of my website is Diku pages web 
Now, this is what users will see instead of WordPress. And the email address is info at decoupages web. That is the email I specified in my functions.php file. So from here, the user can go ahead and click on this link in order to set their password. Next, let's see how the email will come up when the user try to reset their password. So I'll simply go to the back end of my website and I go over to users. So from here, I'll assume that the user wants me to send the password reset link. So I just hover on the user and click on send password reset. Now, if the user goes back to his email, you see that there's a new message coming from Ziku Pages web and it's about password reset. So I go ahead and open it up. And here the user will still see the name decoupages web as well as the email info at decoupagesweb.com. So that's it on how to change default WordPress sender name and email address. All right, guys, I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, kindly hit the like button, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed, and also hit the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you will be the first to know. Keep watching. And I will see you in the next one.